Hello, Doc. Hey, Margie. Just thought I'd show you what it's like here. Hello, stick. <laughs> This is walking in and it's quite maze like. I'm busy. Terenzi. Well, I'm just going to walk you around. There's Paolo Terenzi in there. He's Hey, Kareem. Uh, Margie. Um, I'm not sure. I'll be honest. I mean, I haven't tried everything. It's just too much. Um, uh, there's a couple of brands I quite like. One called Durham, which is a, a revived old classic French house, a bit like Caron. Quite nice, but very classic. Like, not that exciting, but I liked it. Hey, Lily. Confusia there. I have to be careful where I'm going while I'm doing this. So I'm sorry the footage is a bit crap. But we've got some Foreman Jane here. Thank you. I think that was actually Linda Pilkington. I don't know who they are. Royal Model Bazaar. Yes, there is such a thing as too much perfume. Absolutely is. And it's here. Pantheon Roma, the Philly and Fields. Um, oh, I tell you what, I did find an interesting house. Uh, I think they're called Maison Tahiti. They're a gourmand and they've got a load of vanillas which are all very nice, but it was their cocoa. They had a range of cocoa, and there's a tube rose and cocoa. That's so nice. Hello. <laughs> I'm gonna say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, where are we? Oh, we are at um, Bruno Akinhara. Oh, look, there's Miguel. Um, yeah, Maison Tahiti, the cocoa, they've got carnival cocoa, which is like a tuberose, uh, tuberose cocoa, it's not that sweet, like it's not chocolate, it's definitely a not massively gourmand. So these are the ones that are a little bit like Caron. I, I don't know if they're uh, meaning to look a bit like Caron, uh, but they. Uh, this guy in here is an absolute card. <laughs>
Chennai. And Chennai is absolutely um, so busy all the time. And uh, they were the ones who hosted the party last night, which was just amazing. I won't stop there because it's too busy.
well-known brand, but I do think they're an excellent brand. Oh, check out these Hoover Gons bottles are so pretty. Look at this display here. These cloches are nice because you can smell them without having to spray, which is brilliant. Yes, they do have skincare, um, Karine. I saw, I'm sure I saw something behind them, or it might have been, maybe it was in the catalogue. I'm not sure, I can't see anything over there, so I'm sure I saw something. And then part of Essence is, uh, there is a lot of skincare, well, not, not as much as perfume, but there is like a, an area of skincare which is kind of like around here. Yeah, so I won't take you around here. Something smells good in the air. Someone sprayed something kind of um, rosy and fruity and very rhubarb, like maybe um, rhubarb or something quite tart. So this is Mio Fuscini. Um, I don't know how you say his name, but that's I don't know if it's okay to film people without their permission. <laughs> uh, so, I don't know what any of them smell like. I just feel like um, it's all too much to to try everything or even to try a few things. It just can get a bit overwhelming. And you've got this survey here. I mean, this place is massive. It goes on and on and on. Um, and it's a maze and it's difficult to get out of. So when it's like when you decide it's time to go, like yesterday I decided it was time to go. It took me half an hour to get out. Here's Syro. Syro. My favourite one is the Romantique. Very uh, sort of fresh. I can't remember now. I can't smell it. Um, but that's my favourite from there. Liz is here, can you just open the screen so I can slip through? <laughs> yeah, you'd have a feel today. Absolutely, Liz, we really would. Linari. Oh, there is Atelier Disease. I need to tell Megan the story, but I know she's very busy, so. Um, Botiga Cofumiera. I can too. Although it's kind of hard work, um, and being in the city, and these are beautiful bottles. Being in the city, uh, ultimate uh, metal perfume of It's it's like so much walking, and it's so hot. The heat, and then not. For me, like not being by the sea, um, or in the country, or basically with too much space or too much shade anywhere, it's, it's a little hard work. Um, oh, here's the house I like. It's only it's actually one particular fragrance. I think gourmand lovers will. Excuse me. Sorry, you dropped something. Oh. Okay. Mm. Um, gourmand lovers will absolutely love this house. Uh, vanilla lovers. So one's over on the right are the vanillas, and the one on the left is the cocoa. I'll um, come back to that in a second. The cocoa one is um, the one that I like is um, carnal cocoa. It actually is a tube rose fragrance. I guess you put it in the same realms as. Joyous tuberose, but um, it's not as good as Joyous tuberose, and I'm guessing it's probably not as expensive. I don't know what their prices are, but um, it, it seems that it wouldn't be that expensive. Yeah, but I liked, and Elise from One Way Bridge liked it as well because I had it on a little card. I what this is: diabolic fragrance. 
diabolic. Hello. really oody. <laughs> um, not in a funky way, like it's probably more like, um, actually I think it's a lot of patchouli in there. It's definitely not for me. So I think, oh, yeah, oh, la perla, these are nice. Oh, 
also say. I'm not keeping up with all of you. So, it's difficult. It's just skincare. It's, it's more like skincare. Bye bye. Bye bye, Ud. <laughs> And it's whoever's watching oh, YouTube. Oh, hello to everyone. We hello, are, and who, who are you? Perfumeria Urbieta from San Sebastian with a beautiful collection about the Atlantic Sea. Oh, okay. Yes, different. This is not about calm and, and solitude and the sun. This is rough seas, punchy fragrances. Nice, Punchy, nice. punchy fragrances. Do you have a floral? We, we have got, right, this one, which is called Salty water. Salty water. Salty water. That's quite, quite nice gentle, actually. Quite yeah, it's gentle. Quite musky, like gentle, clean, musky. Yes. Yeah. With a little hint of saltiness. But I'm going to show you this one, which is the storm. Storm. There's nothing gentle about that one. Right. I probably won't like it. But let's no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, um, it might not be, but it makes people eyebrows raise. Uh, yeah. It does I every time. That. Yeah. Every time. <laughs> um, is it got seaweed? Seaweed or something like? Not on this one. The note that you find quite unusual is ink. Ink. Yes. Okay. And I'm gonna show you this one as well, only because it's heritage. This is the fragrance that we have done for the whole world, for being proud about who you are, where you come from, your language, and everything. Heritage. That's nice. With Sicilian lemon, bitter orange. Yes. Sweet orange, a little bit of basil and vetiver. Yes, it's got that cologne almost cologne slash fougere which feel. is international which is global yes, you can use yeah. this everywhere yeah five fragrances made by santi burgas santi is, burgas yes yeah. he's exhibiting in m93 beautiful fragrances Lovely. and then this final one made by rodrigo flores oh, I, he's amazing i love the yes. neroli portofino yes. Yeah. oh do you, oh yes yeah. oh, there you mm. go let me just give you I'll give you some samples for you to take an example oh, thank you Nice. It's very elegant. The, um, was it this one? The citrusy one. It's very, yes. very elegant, very yes. classy. But the, the, the reason why we have done one like that, so it's easy international global. Yes. The Atlantic is almost like the, the opposite of something Mediterranean. I don't yes. even like aquatics. Yes. But they're really nice. They're, they're um, or, or certainly. This one is called the mist. Yeah. And this one is called earth. And oh, this yes. is meant to be the parted, the parted um, soil and coastline okay. by the sea. Yeah. We have used a couple of woods, but we try oh, to do. Thank you. Not. I uh, 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 oh, thank you so Not the. Yeah. Not the um, <laughs> Not the, the, okay. the, the classic wood 
that is oriental we have chosen bangladeshi oud and indian oud. right so that's got real oud in it it smelled oh. it did smell oudy to me yeah. yeah it has got that mm. sorry it's we just gonna open and then put it okay. and close there's nothing there's nothing know, dangerous in there i, I promise <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much oh you're very kind claire claire i love um, to meet you smurfy girly on youtube um, I will try and tag you on. Are you on Instagram? Yes, but yeah. it, it would be at 14. It's, it says on the back of the catalog oh, all right, the details. Okay. Yeah. Yes, but I'll Lesha, tag you so Claire, you can see. Maite and Angel, most of the time. <laughs> nice to meet you. Love thank you, you so you. much. And thank you for speaking to us. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Do you see how intense it can get if you get involved in um, quite a few conversations? It's, um, I guess. I mean, it's lovely, it's really lovely, but it's, it just takes it out of you. I think unless you're a particularly extroverted person or a, a, a chatty person, and I'm not actually that chatty, believe it or not. So it can get um, a little energy draining quite quickly here. But it's definitely a great experience for a perfume lover. <laughs> you have to stand a meter away. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah. I can always zoom in. Like oh, look, these are pretty. It's clever how they've lit them up so they look even prettier. Atelier Matinee. Oh, Hoko. You see strikes at the notes there. Gorgeous rainbow there. Lovely. about this shaky footage, I'm definitely no professional.
I'm a guardian. I um, tried these last time. Hello. <laughs> Lovely gentlemen. Um, they were Turkish. <laughs> they were, um, they were, I think Turkish? I think they were Turkish. Uh, really, really nice actually. Really nice fragrances. Like Atelier de Zours is always busy. Um, Pissara at DC Tuck is always busy. Um, and obviously they're, big, they're not new at all. Um, I guess some of the newer brands you've never heard of aren't getting uh, that much attention. I guess just because people don't know who they are. Yeah, I'm guilty of walking past a lot of stuff and not even trying it. Could be some absolute gems and I wouldn't even know. Musicology. Nice little uh, instrument. What's it called? A saxophone? and then I went to the Michelin 8 party and it was a free bar so you can imagine you know talking of getting messy hello Danny <laughs> um, yeah I think everyone was having a good time shall we say um, and the problem is I didn't seem to have the capability to order an Uber. I think Megan from Atelier de Zours helped me, however, it didn't turn out too well because it dropped me off in the centre of the city and I'm at the north of the city. Milan's huge, by the way, if you don't know, it's huge. And I just couldn't, it was too late to get a, a tram. I ended up walking and I got home at 5 a.m. I'd sobered up by that point. I think I cried on the way home as well. Lovely essential perfumes. <laughs> she was a bit reluctant. Ooh, look at all the colour. I'm drawn to colour like this and flowers and stuff. I'm try and find my way out of here now. Hang up now. I think that's probably giving you a good flavour of what's happening here. And uh, I will catch you all later. 